Welcome back. And um, last time we already be able to click, uh, create the uh, list view to display the data this way. Uh, this time, and, and you will be able to search, let's just run, to search the uh, filter the data uh, for the list view. And we are still, let's say, okay, this one, this one, okay. We're still having something to do to refine this list view before we really uh, load the data and put the data into this list view, which is, so if I click on this item, Okay, I tap on this item, it should be able to uh, take the product name, the quantity, and the ID, and it should be able to um, bring us to um, another form in order for us to, um, in order for us to, let's just say, um, update or delete the item later on. So we, we're preparing for future work. So. In that way, in order to access to this data, like product one or, or, or quantity one or so on so forth like this, not the uh, text over here, we're gonna use a little bit trick of, um, um, of um, um, how to say, of um, 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 JavaScript. So we're going to put something like span name equal to, let's say name. And I'm gonna use this span and span, yep. Okay, so we're gonna access to this spam with the attribute is name equal to name so that we're gonna be able to access to product one later on. Similarly, um, similarly, uh, we're gonna put a spam, okay, put a spam, and with a name equal to quantity, okay, and also the um, spam over here, with a name equal to, let's say, uh, with a name equal to, uh, equal to the ID, okay, the ID. So if you do this, well, let me just do the Alt Shift L now, Control Alt L to reformat the con uh, command Alt L or Control Alt Alt L to reformat the code. So similarly, you should be able to display those kinds of span here. Okay, in the uh, every of your products in order to access to the data. Okay, in order to access to the data. Let me just quickly show you the trick. Why do I um, do this? Because I want to access to the product name of every item. Okay, products, um, um, quantity, um, product ID of every item. So let me just put this down here so I don't have to retype. So product name 2, quantity 2. And the ID is two as well. Okay, so let me just quickly show you why do I do this one so that in the future you won't be able to um, use it. Now, at the index, uh, when on document ready, make sure it's on document ready so um, so your page is loaded so you have access to the list view. So we're gonna do something like okay, so. Um, um, when the document is ready, we access to, uh, we need to give uh, an ID for it. So we're going to put our products, the list, okay, with the ID equal to uh, list products, okay. Now, from the one of which you want to access to the um, list products, then we say on tab, okay. On the list item, we're gonna make a function. We're gonna make a function, and that function we're gonna alert. We're trying to just alert the uh, name of the product out. If you could access to the name of the products, if you could access to the name of the product, you could access to quantity and other things. So, let's just try to access to the name. So, we're going to access to it using this, means the list item itself. Then from the list item, you're going to access to um, the, we're gonna find the span with the attribute name equal to name, okay? So we're gonna find, uh, uh, we're gonna find the span with attribute name equal to name. Okay, so this one must be a single quote. We're gonna find um, we're gonna find an attribute with with the attribute name equal to name as a children of this list item. 
So we're gonna find again. We are going to find. We're gonna find the uh, uh, an element with the attribute name equal to name. So that and you take the values from it. Okay, from from this list item. Okay, which is this. Then you're going to find the um, elements with attribute name equal to name. Okay, uh, then you take the values. So from here, find and you take the values a bit. So if you run this one, okay, if you run this one, let's uh, see, click on load, click on this. Um, you see nothing, okay? Click on this, see nothing. Let's just see what's going on. Let me just see. Let's see. It's fine. Name uh, equal to name. Okay, this, this is the val method. Okay, uh, I remember this one must be XML methods. Okay, to get the XML uh, of that span. Okay, let's just try to run this one. Okay, and if you have a look at this, click on this. Yep, you could get the product one already. Click on this one, you get the product two. That's it. Okay. And if you wonder uh, what is the um, XTML, what's the difference between XTML and VAL? Okay, I'm sorry. To, to, this one, VAL is to set the uh, values attribute. Okay, so if you have a span, then you have values equal to something. That one is about VAL. Or normally, let's say you have input. Okay, and values equal to something. That one you can use VAL. Um, but if you have like span, then something there. Something there. And span, then this one is supposed it is not an attribute value is equal to something, okay? But it is the um, um, HTML text or the content inside inside here. So you're gonna use HTML, okay? HTML. So you cannot use the val method. Uh, however, um, if if you really sure like in in this case. Okay, like in this case, it's product one. It is a text of this element, so you can also use the text method. Okay, it should you it should give you the uh, correct result as well. You you should use uh, XML if inside that you have some further tags, but um, in this case inside that we don't have any further tags. We just use text then. Okay. Let's, let's see, click on this one, click on this one, click on it. Yeah, see, you can get product one, see, you can get product two. So, in the next video, this one is the step for us to um, do. In the next video, we're going to, we are not going to do it now here. Next video, we're going to, um, we are going to, um, how do I say, uh, load the data from database, load data from database like this, okay. And then we're going to display it, code the, code, code the display products method to um, index the data and create the list view like this. Okay, and create the list view like this. Okay, that's it. it.